Welcome to the very first episode of Totally Crazy Easy Gardening. I'm David the Good. Today I'm going to start with something really weird because that's just the way I roll. Look at this. This is billions of bacteria. I made a sludgy bacteria water on purpose to feed the plants. Now, how did this come about? I decided to make this bacteria sludge because my friend Mart, who also has a YouTube channel, was watching one of my anaerobic composting videos. I did a video a week or two ago about anaerobic composting and how I take moringa and manure and compost and all kinds of stuff and put it in a big barrel like I write about in my book and then I feed my plants with it. That's why this corn behind me looks so amazing. So he sends me this thing where the Koreans are using a method called Jadam Organic Farming. And what they're doing is they're taking leaf mold from a healthy hillside and they're taking some boiled potatoes and they're putting it in water with a little bit of seawater to breed up those leaf mold bacteria and other microorganisms and feed their gardens. So I thought, this is cool. But what actually happens is the bacteria get into the soil, the fungi get into the soil, and they start chewing on the minerals there. They start chewing on the organic matter. They start freeing up stuff and manuring the soil on a microscopic level and getting your plants going crazy. So I thought, I like this idea. I'm gonna get some leaf mold and I'm gonna do it. Well, the thing is that where I am, I'm not close enough to the ocean at the moment to go and pick up a few gallons of seawater. So I got a couple of gallons of urine and used that instead. Yeah, it's similar, right? And I also didn't have potatoes here because I live in the tropics and Idaho potatoes are really just not the thing. So I took a boiled breadfruit, ground it up in the blender, and I added that. And then I went and I got some leaf mold off the mountainside under some healthy looking trees and I crumbled it up into the water. And now I have this. So what I'm gonna do is take this and apply this to some of my crops, and then we can come back in a week or two and see which ones are doing better. I'm gonna do it on some of the crops, but not all the crops. And we'll do a side by side and see if this method of breeding bacteria to feed the soil actually works.
I did it. I put some of that bacteria soup on a couple of little soursops I started and a little cashew tree. I also put some on a row of tomatoes put some on the seminal pumpkins, and I put some in a bed of corn, and then I marked it all so we can see if there's any growth difference over the next couple of weeks. You can do it. You can do it. I'm David the Good. Until next time, keep growing.